Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Anirudha. Uh, in one of our previous videos, uh, we had uh, seen how to design and model a 2 meter quarter wave ground plane antenna for VHF band. If you have not seen that video, I will put uh, a link uh, somewhere here. Please do check it out. In this video, we will actually see how that antenna was constructed and uh, we will see its a uh, real life performance uh, through RTL SDR dongle. Let's get started. This is the antenna we had drawn earlier in the software. This red circle is uh, the feed point. We are going to use SO239. The vertical radiating element is connected to the center pin of SO239 whereas the ground elements are connected to the outer casing of SO239. Let us see how we have actually constructed the antenna through a series of photographs. This is how I had constructed the antenna. This is SO239 connector which is oriented in upside down fashion. This is the vertical radiating element and these four are the ground elements. The material used is aluminium flux rods that are commonly used in aluminium welding. They are 2 mm in diameter. The length chosen for each of these elements is 0.49 meters. The vertical radiating element is soldered to the center pin of SO239. The center pin of SO239 is approximately 2.1 mm and so this end of the rod needs to be grinded a little bit so that it can cleanly fit inside the center pin of SO239. You may use heat shrink to protect the connection. The ground elements are connected to the outer casing of SO239 with the help of linkage stoppers. The linkage stoppers have 2 mm holes in them through which the ground elements can be connected and it contains 4 allen screws which can be tightened to fix the ground elements. This is another view of the antenna. This shows the completed antenna. The antenna is mounted on approximately 10 foot or 3 meters of PVC pipe. The PVC pipe is 3 foot inch in diameter. The SO239 sits perfectly on the PVC pipe. The coaxial cable is connected to SO239 which runs through inside of the PVC pipe and comes out from the bottom. So this is the way the antenna is designed, constructed and mounted. The performance of the antenna is very good. As an example, I will show a video of the performance of the antenna receiving a local 2 meter VHF band net on HDSDR software using RTL SDR dongle. The reason I am saying that is that the, it has a SDR portion as a receiver. Also, it requires uh, it, it requires to have a software software update from time to time. These are the two things which are there. Um, yeah, so so uh, and and of course the, the third part of it is that it requires a linear power supply. The the uh, SMPS power supply. Or if you're using battery straight, then that's okay. SMPS power supply uh, does give it a little bit of. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Also press the notification bell so that you will come to know whenever I upload new videos. Thank you for watching.